factory78.com I'm at a shock where we're here in London again. It's the middle of the night. We decided to come out to where the real players, the most interesting artists are producing music and of course performing as well as collaborating. We're here to see Mo Easy. No, no, no. We're here to see Mo Easy. King David and the producer Ozzy. Factory78.com, Adi Shokwe, let's do this. All right, now I'm going to be sitting in between the three men. Excuse me, sirs. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like squeezing in here. Yes, I'm, I'm going to be joining the guys here. This is Factory78.com style. We've come out here to speak to some of the people that are producing the biggest tracks on the road right here. All right. The phone's buzzing. King David, I've got a story for you today. I've got a story for you today. Now, we're moving straight. I'm starting with the left-hand side of me. Like I said, Mo Easy. How you doing today, bro? I'm doing great. I'm doing incredible. You know, look at these guys. They're looking fresh. Like, this is the middle of the night. I'm not even going to say what time it is. But these guys <laughs> are grinding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're grinding hard day and night to make sure that the music is crazy. We've come specifically because of a couple of projects. Yes, Firstly, Ozzy. Yes, sir. Ozzy. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Good. We've come here today. Yeah. A song's out grinding on the internet. Yeah. People are leaving comments left, right, and center. I saw a video. Let's just put it this way. I saw a video with Mo Easy, yeah. King David, yeah. behind god knows what this is <laughs> and two face yeah. it's called celebration nigeria's 50 celebration track is crazy who's gonna tell me how this song came about was it they are yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i knew i knew <laughs> more easy more easy he gave himself up now more easy let's go you know you know he's, he's gonna say we should we should we should do that but I mean, in all in all due respect, I, I think um, the great producer um, should do that. He should be the one to tell you how it started. Fantastic. Well, the producer himself is sitting right next to me. Right, from one great, great producer to the other great producer. <laughs> okay, how did it come about? Um, Two Face coming into the UK to um, for his gigs and um, me knowing that he wants to do a song for the um, Jubilee, the Golden Jubilee for Nigeria. I didn't even know I was going to be in the studio with these guys. The day I turned up here, because the, the address for the studio was sent to me, made my way up to the, to the premises, he opened the door for me. I've known this dude for what, five, six years. <laughs> we promised each other we're going to work with each other. And I've heard about his brother, Mo, and I walk and meet Mo, and the chemistry between us just, everything was just that quick. So before Two Face even stepped in the studio, the song was ready. So we had the beat ready, the melodies, you know, these guys basically just came up with all the, um, in, you know, what, what we needed for the track. Um, Two Face turned up with his crew, sang the melody to him. He basically just went in there and just freestyled. Wow. Uh, and I just left these guys to just do the production. That's it, you know. Wow. The video, like you said, you said the song was ready. Yeah. You know, the, the vocals was ready, the tune was ready, the beats was ready. But if you have a look at the video that just jumped off on the internet, yeah. which showed the interaction between King David, he's far away from me, but trust me, he ain't hiding nowhere. We saw Two Face in one of the elements yeah. that a lot of people haven't seen him before. Yeah, yeah. That is, you know, making a song, yeah. the production of a song. Yeah. And that included King David yeah. and Mo Easy. Yeah. These are guys that have been grinding, I'd say on the underground for a long time. You know, we, we've heard music, we've seen performances, yeah. but they decided to step it up a level and take it to some one of the biggest artists yeah. that's come out of Africa. Now, Mo Easy, how easy was that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, that, that wasn't easy, but I would say that's, that's um, a point in my career, if I could say, that was very, very inspiring. Like to have worked with someone like Two Face that's opened opened doors for a lot of people um, and a lot of artists. Now, 
No one can deny that. No artist in Africa can ever deny that. Two Face has opened doors and inspired a lot of artists mm. to the point where a lot of people um, more or less try to do his sound to the point where um, they probably choked or, or you know, what I mean, mess up themselves. Yes. But a lot of people have tried to take his style, and yeah. he is he's the originality that he comes with is is incredible. It's crazy, yeah. and um, the vibe that was in the studio was just unbelievable because I think. It goes like me and King or even Ozzy, if you're gonna work with somebody, it's gotta be it's gotta be on that vibe. If that vibe ain't there and you don't click, then it's pointless. Then you're just forcing it. Then it's all about the money. Mm. But this is this was not okay money situation or anything, but it was I mean to have worked with him is a great thing, definitely. People say not just me. I'll be leaving like I don't care. Leave my life until nobody did. So, wow. You know, you were talking about the fact that you work with Two Face, the fact that he's an inspiration to a lot of people, not only musicians like you guys, but of course listeners like us as well. Now, speaking about listening, Red Carpet. <laughs> red Carpet, if you haven't heard it, you haven't seen it, you haven't heard or seen anything yet. I say that all the time, but I say it about specific music. Red Carpet represents Nigeria, it represents Moezy, it represents your grind. Red Carpet. It's supposed to be part of a mixtape, part of an album. What exactly is Red Carpet and what is it part of? Red Carpet is part of my album mm. that will be coming out um, in 2011, not not now. Mm. It has featured on a few mixtapes as in, um, I think it's the first track that a lot of people have known me by, mm. you know? So I like the fact that you said it represents um, 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 the grind and what we do because um, the song was made at that at the moment that that was being felt mm. you know red carpet all the glamour da, 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 all of that so that's why it was made so and i mean it's 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 definitely gone further than than i thought or imagined yeah. so and even yet now we're not even on on full rotation and the mails that we get through and the nominations of the awards and here and there so it's like it's amazing but it is part of the album yeah. um, not part of the mixtape even though it is on the new mixtape yeah. that i just released so yeah that's more easy for you. Now, Ozzy, you know, I know you're sitting in between King David and I, mm -hmm. so I'm going to take that seat. Right. So we're going to wiggle a little bit because there's no way we're going to miss King David today. Now, like I said, this is Factory78.com. The big producers, Ozzy's in the house. It's really, he, he tries to keep it a little bit quiet, but trust me, when the beats start to kick off, he's not that quiet, Ozzy. We know that. <laughs> exactly. So, my brother, King David, that name, King David, how did that come about? Wow, I could, I could explain it to you in so many different ways. It's like um, King David, David, that's my real name. Mm -hmm. 